This wreath is pretty special. This is for Mrs. Walls. And Mrs. Walls is one of my puppy parents. She has Lulu and Lola. And she has another one named Chloe. And... Oh my gosh, five times. Ouch! You need a glue pot, Levon. A Shore Bonder glue pot. These are awesome. They don't get too hot. You can set the temperature and you don't burn yourself. Hi Lillian. How are you? And I always keep, and my students know this when they come down and we're in classroom, I always have um, some, what's this called? Aloe vera um, lotion here. And it works great on burns. All right, so we're doing a teacher wreath. Bobby has a classroom. She teaches, what grade is it, Bobby? She'll tell me in a minute. We have a big pencil we're going to put on it. Bobby decorated this um, apple that she got at Target. Okay, she came to my um, cricket class and loved it so much she went out and got herself a cricket. So she did all that by herself. Didn't she do an awesome job? Fifth grade. There we go, fifth grade. So I got all the ribbons cut out and then I went ahead and I was going to use this mesh because it's got all the primary colors in it but it does not feel like it's holding up to me the way I would want it to. So we're changing the design plan. We're going with this mesh. It has some metallic in it and it has the white on it. By the time we add all the ribbons I've cut out, all the tails, it's gonna look awesome. It's gonna give Bobby, I think, exactly what she wanted which was all the primary colors. So, here we go. All right. Now I'm gonna do 10 inch poofs on the lower level, and then I'm gonna do 12 inch poofs on the top level. So, we're doing 10 inch below. I like this because the white breaks up the red. And I know you're saying, well, the sign's red and white, but when we put those tails on here, it's really going to make it pop. And we want it to pop. So I just wanted you all to know that Miss Miracle went to her new home on Saturday or Sunday. She did awesome. She even went out walking on a leash and she had never walked on a leash before. They have another Yorkie for me, little um, Taffy. So her and Taffy are getting along just fine. And Mr. Gray went to his new house, and he's doing awesome, too. So, I am almost puppyless. Hi, Cecilia, how are you? Welcome back. We're doing a teacher's wreath for Bobby. She's been doing some awesome work for me on my um, websites. So I'm paying her back in the form of a wreath and a doggy car seat. We're bartering. So how's that? I know, they're, they're a smart little breed, aren't they?
<clears throat> I had a lady here today looking at the last one. She's trying to decide, so hopefully we'll be all set soon. If not, however long it takes. Because my babies are important. Yeah, it's been a long 14 weeks. <laughs> Usually the pups are all sold at the beginning before they even hit the ground. But with Miss Miracle's litter, that kind of caused some problems because we did not expect her to go into early labor and lose two pups. So... There were a lot of people waiting on girl doggies. And then we ended up with mostly, well, the girls were taken. <laughs> they get that way sometimes, don't they? Straighten this out. Got a fresh start. Fresh straight start. This is a 21 inch mesh. And we're actually doing 10 inch poofs on the bottom. And we may do 12 inch on the top. Doesn't that look good with the red and the teal? You did catch it live. Hi, Carla. You having fun? With Rita? Rita and... Carla are good friends of mine. You did catch me live, girl. I was just getting ready to tell them that teal and red are the new colors for Christmas this year. She's awesome, LaVon. She has helped me with so many things in class, in my wreath classes, because some of the technology is just beyond me. Now, how did that get that direction? We don't want it that direction. We want it up this direction. There we go. All right, so now we're on the upper layer, upper level. Let's see. Yeah, I think we're going to do 12 inches on the top. Just to give it a little more poof. Now this wreath only has six ties at the top not eight. So that's why I chose to go a little bit poofier. And I don't have my mesh roller out because I'm using my ribbon holder to hold all the ribbons for this wreath because we are going to put a lot of ribbon on here. Bobby wanted a lot of the primary colors so, we're going to do it up big. I 
I will, Carla. Miss me, I'm She's traveling to Wreath Makers Live. It's a big um, wreath conference in New Orleans. A lot of the group are headed there. Starts this Thursday. So, she can't hear me, but she can see me. So, okay, we're going to cut this off and tie it off. I thought, I thought LaVon was coming up. She is coming up to play with Amari. I'm going to do what tequila taught me, and that's straighten it off before you put it away. Then you start with a straight edge. So we did that. Oh, wait, I have to show you something. This is what we're doing on Wednesday. Look at that little girl scarecrow. Is she not adorable? We're going to make a, a pumpkin patch with her. Isn't she cute? I got her in last week. All right, let's tie this off. here and tie it to the frame I'm loving these two colors together okay check out where all my ties are. Two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay. Now, like I said, we have this to put on. And I know this is red against red, but you see how we're breaking it up with the white? And then we are going to be adding lots of color. We've got red, we've got orange, we've got yellow, we've got the turquoise or aqua and then green. All of which are in this ribbon, which is the, um, it's got apples, pencils, crowns, A plus papers. So, before we put this on, we're gonna do the tails. And then we're gonna find a place for that. <clears throat> so, what I did was the red and, and white polka dot I added the um, teacher ribbon to. And don't forget, I have a contest going on right now. So don't forget to go ahead and, uh, and register to win. Can't win if you don't play. I'm giving away a wreath to celebrate reaching 800. It will be a custom wreath. Whoever wins, it will match your door. You will pick out the colors. I will make it on a live, and then I will ship it to you. You must live in the U.S. 
to register. I will not ship out of the country. You, you drive safe, Carla. I wish I was there too. All right, then we're doing yellow, orange and green. That'll be one snazzy teacher's wreath. All the teachers are going to want one now. And then we have the yellow with the aqua, with the blue. We want as much color to this wreath as we can get. Kids already know how great a teacher Miss Bobby is, but we want to snazz that door up and welcome them to class. Then we have green with orange. So we went all with primary colors on these. the blue with the yellow and that's called quadrifoil that uh, shape on the yellow I went with 12 inch tails Carla's on her way to Wreath Makers Live. Lucky girl. She's going to have fun. I can't get over how expensive parking is down there. Whoa. Absolutely insane. And there's going to be close to 900 people there. They're gonna they're gonna love this fancy wreath. I want to start with this one. So if I start red, orange, yellow, yep, that's where I want to start it. Anybody do anything neat this weekend? I know, right? Isn't that crazy for parking? That's insane. And that's a day, right?
get there early and park somewhere on the street. I know, right, Donna? And there's a parking garage nearby, and it's cheaper, but guess what? You can only park there for seven hours. And after that, you have to move your car. You'd think they'd find some place a little more economical for everybody, especially since postal rates went up. And they're gouging us there. But what are you going to do? I know, right? <laughs> nice with the discount, but that's, I'm sorry. I think that's crazy. There's my other... Where'd it go? All right. We're going to end with this over here. And we're going to use one of these with it. sure that's why some people are flying in but then you know you fly in and you really can't go anywhere now, I'm not sure how I'm going to end this because there's six on top and I have five colors so I think what we'll do is we'll put the bow right here in the middle and have it go this way and then this we will put up here like that like so and then our huge pencil Might, up, might end up down here near the bow or could put that off to the side and I could put that there. Let's just make the bow and then we'll see where we want to go with it. Okay. Uh, I think that's the way to go. Do you love it so far? I keep forgetting you're watching. <laughs> So, we'll figure out where this is going to go. Let's make the bow first, and then we'll go from there. But I think, I think we got all your colors on there. I'm glad you like it. Alright, so we're going to start with... Let's start with turquoise this time instead of the red because then it's against the we're going to do like a 12 inch tail and a six inch loop and i'm going to go four two i think
I know, right? <laughs> but hopefully it'll stay on the wreath and nobody will try and take it off. I think they respect Bobby enough that they know better. Don't attempt that. My husband was checking it out today. It said he said it even writes. <laughs> All right, so we got turquoise first. Then we're gonna go with. Let's see. Let's go with the red next. Just put uh, two loops of this. You doing okay today, Sherry? Any more chocolate? get a late email yesterday the check and the shirt went out today in the mail so it is what it is The big rolls are too big for that. So, all right, let's do. Shoot. Probably wanted to do orange under that. Let me see. Yeah, it'll be all right. Thank you, Leslie. Appreciate it. It's going to look good. Bobby did an awesome job on the sign. She got the apple from Target, which they don't have anymore. But that's okay. I traced it. I can make my own. anybody. Now do I want to do the green next? Yellow. The green on the outside. I think we're going to just stay with the big ribbon. I'm not going to use all these colors. And then we're going to um, put the uh, teacher ribbon on here on the front. I think that's going to 
provide the look I wanted that hopefully will make Bobby happy. She's not that hard to please. Very easy to work with. She's really helped me a lot with my computer and my websites, both of them. Now she's working on my puppy one because my other puppy one is horrible. Okay, let's see. Now because this ribbon goes in one direction, I'm going to just put the tail on first. So it kind of All right, this is what I'm going to do. I want it to go in the correct um, direction. So I'm piecing it in here. So it will go the way I want it. Now that's not going the way I want it. Okay, it has to go this way. For it to go the way I want it. There we go. And then I'll trim it here. I'm going to put a third loop in here because I want a third loop in the middle. Okay. I know. And you know what? It really looks good against the green. I really like it. All right. Now, where's my. I got my wire out so I wouldn't have to be searching for it. Actually, I'm going to use a zip tie. Then we know it's secure and in place. I try. <laughs> I really try sometimes. I had this thing already put together in two different ways and changed it. So... That's the hard thing about this doing this live because I know the way I want it to look and sometimes when you start it, it doesn't turn out that way. So then I have to go back to the drawing board. I mean, you guys, you see it being put together and it doesn't look like it takes that much time, but when I design, I really spend a lot of time. Mondays, sometimes I spend the entire day working on the design for when, for Monday night. So it's not just put together lickety split. I want it to look right. And sometimes it's hard because you know how you want it to look, but yet when you're doing it, it's not going the way you wanted it to go. So... That's when it gets difficult sometimes. But we got it. All right, now we're gonna put these. We're gonna trim this because I already caught it in the loop. So we can get that out of the way. And then we'll put that little loop over top of. Like that little scarecrow girl She's been in so many different, uh, I had her in um, an oval grapevine wreath, and that didn't look too bad, but then I decided to make a whole pumpkin patch and put her in um, that basket, so... Oh, I love this against that green. That is really pretty. I 
love all the colors. I wanted it to be colorful, and that it is. And that's what Bobby wanted. She wanted color, color, color. And I think we got color, color, color. And then some. Could loop this up like that and pull it down like that. <laughs> Have you tried it yet? I know you had some in the garage. And you know the the unique and the creek board that I did with the um that half basket attached and then that floral arrangement. Well, one of my students, they want to make that this Thursday night. I don't have any more of those baskets, so she's running around like a lady, a crazy lady, trying to find them. All right, so I think the bow is going to go right here. Just have to fish it through here. Color, color, color. And Bobby was so sweet. She went and bought um, Lulu here to play with Mr. Tan today. And it just pooped the two of them right out. Oh, cool. You'll have to send me pictures. All right. So I'm liking the bow. Now, we got to get our apple on here. Here we are so far. Now, let's get our apple on here. And maybe, maybe we need to put the apple off to the side and then the pencil over here. Or vice versa, the pencil there. Yes. And the teacher apple there. Uh, I think that's a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I'm sorry. I'm really <laughs> punchy tonight. I'm a little bit on the tired side. It was a long day yesterday. But we're good. I went and stapled um, pipe cleaners to the pencil because I'm like okay now I got this pencil how the heck am I going to secure it to the wreath there we go I like it I like it And you know me, when I turn off the camera, sometimes I'm not done either. So, Bobby may come and there might be something else on it. I was, I did find this, which had three um, apples on it. And I was going to try and incorporate that in there, except remove all this stuff. And then we were going to put her room number on there. But what I think we could do, Bobby is we still have room to put room and the number on here because I don't like this with this so 
I think that would be a good place for it. What do you think, Bobby? I want to get this down in here some. tucking these ties down. All right. Do I have this on? Yes. So we need to put some ties on the back of this. Were you? I think that'd be a good place for it, don't you? It doesn't have to be real big. I mean, the white against the, the red is really going to pop. You could always wait till last minute and put it on. Right? I put these cable ties on the back here, and then I can run wire or pipe cleaners or whatever through it to hold it onto the wreath. And I don't know. I may... may end up putting some more of this on the top layer so we have more of it visible. I think before I put this on, I want to do that. So we got one, two, three, four, five. We've got five. So let's on the top layer, let's put just the teacher ribbon. I like that better. And if I think it's too busy, I may pull off the other ones, too. So, maybe we should have just stuck with the primary colors and then just the same ribbon. The teacher ribbon all throughout. I'm thinking that would be better. Although it's your wreath, and if you decide you want it the other way, I can do it that way. If you like it the way it is on the bottom layer with the different, um, different patterns, I will leave that. But I like this better. I'm thinking it just is too busy the other way. What's your thoughts, Bobby? Teach a ribbon all around and get rid of some of this? Or what? Tell me, girl. I know what to 
it is. This pencil is sitting down too low. It needs to come up some more. It's scrunching everything. <laughs> no, aw. I think it's too busy. I think it it needs the teacher ribbon all around. To be honest with you, I think it it looks better. I think it's too much flash with that. This just simplifies it. it. Gives you your primary colors and then your teacher ribbon. I know. All right, then I'm removing all the other ribbon and we're just doing teacher ribbon. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So I need five more. See how the design will change? Four and five. I think I used my ribbon tails that I made. I haven't gotten to that point yet. They need to be painted and spruced up some. All right. So, we're taking out the crazy ribbon, and we're just putting all teacher ribbon in. Teacher, teacher, teacher. I like that better. It's too busy the other way. Okay. We're doing it, Bob. Yep. I think it definitely looks better. Gives it more continuity. Right? And you know what I saw today, Bobby? Somebody made a cup sling for you to rest a cup in when you're putting vinyl on it. And the cup sling, or hammock, or whatever you want to call it, was made out of PVC pipe. So I got to make us one. Yes, sir. Okay, that one's already changed. Now we gotta do this one. Now, Bobby, I hope you share this with all your teacher friends. If they want one, it's not gonna look like yours. No, 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 no. Yours is one of a kind. Do the other ones have wreaths on their door? Just curious. I ordered this teacher ribbon a long time ago. When we had first talked about this, and now everybody's having trouble finding it. I am so glad I ordered it when I did. Because everybody's selling out, because now everybody's looking for it. So the tails were cut at 12 inches. Got 
21 inch mesh, 10 inch poofs on the bottom, 12 inch poofs on the top. Where are you? There we go. Much better. Oh, I like it. I love it. And these won't go to waste. They'll get put on another wreath somewhere down the line. Because the big, big color of Christmas now is the red and the, and the aqua. So we'll have plenty for then. Oh, yeah. All right. Now I need some pipe cleaners. There's one. And then see with the, the ties, you just go right through the middle. And see this wreath will be indoors, so it will be protected from the weather. Won't she? She will. And you know what I want to find, Bobby? And maybe we need... Oh, we don't want your room number on there. No. Oh, it's in the other one. There we go. Bobby. We need a little worm on here. A little bookworm. And look, we can make it out of these little pom-poms. What do you think? Little bookworm. I got little, uh, can make a little antenna and put little um, what do you think make a little worm out of pom poms and set it on there so what I was trying to do is figure out a way to cover up that hole what do you think yay okay then I'm cutting off this thing I'll cut it off this. I almost cut myself again. I cut myself three times today. I've had bandages all over. Didn't bleed this time, though. Good. And then what we can do is we can just make a little, like, bow on this side. We need to knot this. There. Or maybe not that. Maybe we can make just a tiny bow. No. Nope, we'll just leave that there. And then I'll make you a little bookworm. And maybe I can put some wire through it and have it like sticking up out of the um out of the hole that's what we'll do bob we will we will fish wire through it so we can wire that sucker up or better yet i have a green pipe cleaner I have a green pipe cleaner and what we'll do we will glue the pom-poms onto the green pipe cleaner oh yeah 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 you're 
getting it. One of a kind. I got glue on there. Let's put that down. And then we'll have it coming out of the apple. And then I'll put some little wiggly eyes on it. I have little wiggly eyes. Oh, yeah. You know me. One of a kind. Now it's sticking to the plastic. Dag nabbit. There we go. We're going to have that baby popping out of that apple. Maybe we can even put a little bow tie on it. <laughs> Yep. Just snazz them up a little. I've seen bookworms with bow ties on them. Haven't you, Levon? Yeah. I knew there was a way I'd figure out a way to cover up that hole. Just need to take some time to think about it. Come on. I knew I got these pom-poms for a reason. There we go. And then, see? We can have it come right out of the apple. Then, because it's got wire, we can go ahead and... What do you think, Bob? A little bookworm coming out of your apple? Yeah. I have to play with them a little bit, but... He's coming out of the apple. Bring it on, Jean. We'll make one. Already got the pattern. What do you think? Think that looks good? Little bookworm coming out of the apple? Yes. She likes it. All right. Jean, this is for Bobby. She's watching tonight, and this is for her, her classroom. So what I'm going to do is take a piece of this ribbon and sandwich it to hold it in place. Oh, yeah. There we go. Bobby's got a bookworm coming out of her apple. Aw, oh, thanks, Shuri. Yeah, I think it needed something wiggly on it. All right. So let's get this mounted. And then I think we're done. And look, there's still room to put your room number on there. How's that? This is going to be the talk of the teacher's lounge. All right, now why aren't you going down through here? Come on. Yay, she likes it. Only for you. I've done such an amazing job on my websites. I so appreciate it. See? You're good at that. And I do okay at this. We help each other out. 
and then I'll put some wiggly eyes on it. And if I can find a little ribbon that I can make a bow tie, that little bug will get a bow tie. I'll figure out something. Okay, guys, what do you think? Are we good? Wait a minute, where's that? There, let's fix this a little bit. Oh, I hear barking. Mrs. Wall's classroom. Welcome. Thank you, Donna. Bobby likes it. Thanks, Christine. I'm glad. I'm glad um, we changed the ribbon. I think it just all needed to be the same. We had the pattern with the polka dots in there, so I think that just really ties it all together because you have all the colors in the teacher ribbon so all I need to do is put a, a zip tie on the back for the hanger thanks Lillian thanks LaVon thanks Donna all right There we go. She's all done. Even the little wiggly bookworm. Anybody have any questions? Oh, okay. I will check it out. All right, guys. Now all I have to do is make her a car seat. <laughs> I know, right? That's, that's what Bobby wanted. She wanted colors. She wanted pop. And I think we got that. I have to wind all the little um, wreath ties back in. But she's done and ready to go. And then if you uh, get your room number before um, school starts, there's still plenty of room to add your room number. Right? I'm going to take some pictures of it. Um, probably won't. There might be enough light to get it tonight yet. But for the most part, I think Mrs. Walls has a beautiful wreath for her door. <laughs> I like your worm too, LaVon. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm going to clean up. I got babies to take out and a little one. Little Mr. Tan. I had him out by the chicken coop last night. He freaked when that chicken moved. <laughs> but then he kind of got used to him. So... All right, I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Spread the love. And don't forget to sign up for the contest. It could be you 
that I'm making a wreath for the next time. Right? All right. I'll see y'all Wednesday. Good He'll be fine, LaVon. The right person is going to come along. They just didn't come and pick them up. So, moving on, right? All right, everybody. Have a good evening. And thank you.